I want to share some information about Epstein-Barr virus. I've been working with this virus for a long time from a quantum healer perspective, but I was also afflicted with it for almost three decades. There are many types of Epstein-Barr virus. I found over 60 different strains. So they might tell you, oh, there's just one. This is something that's also called mono. And as a virus, they say there's no cure for it, but with quantum healing, there actually is. And so when I'm looking at this bioweapon, what I see is a darkness spreading from this pathogen throughout the body. The purpose is really to bring down the vibration of the body to create a systematic failure and breakdown of the bodily systems. In addition to creating despair, with so many strains, some are more aggressive and impact one severely early on, early in life. For me, that was about 16. My body started going into failure and shutting down and it was over 20 health diagnoses. I was on my deathbed when I was 35, could hardly work or function. So there's some that attack more severely at a younger age. And then there's other less severe strains that tend to manifest as Alzheimer's, dementia, arthritis, starting 60s, 70s, 80s. There are a lot of programs, false core belief programming in Epstein-Barr that I am not worthy to get better. I'm worthless. I'm a waste. I will always be sick. I can't beat this or get well from it. And there's quite a few others. I find a lot of bioweapons are programmed with despair anchors. And how are you ever going to get better if at the core of your being, you really believe that you're not worthy to be healed or you're not going to be healed? It's one of the biggest tricks of these bioweapons that makes them so lethal and difficult to get rid of. Just looking through some of my notes. There is dormant EBV. It loves to hang out in the liver. It loves toxins. And so that can be activated at any time, most likely. It is activated during a stressful life event or when your immune system is down. So cystic acne is very closely linked to Epstein-Barr. And when do people get that? Usually in their teens. They also, sorry, I just got a phone call. So hopefully you heard the part about the cystic acne being related to Epstein-Barr. And what happens when you're going through puberty is your immune system is working overdrive and it's actually lower. Same thing when women are close to their period, their immune system kind of drops down, which is why they tend to get more acne and their hormones are adjusting, but Epstein-Barr can flare around that time. Most clients have inherited EBV energy and it deeply integrates into the ganglion neuron cell bodies in the peripheral nervous system. And that happens about three out of four people. And so you have all these neurological symptoms that come along with it. And it's not in your head. You're not crazy. Most people are disconnected from different parts of their body. There's resistance energy built in, making it very difficult to release. It tends to integrate and bind into trauma constructs. So if you already have a trauma in your body, Oh, Epstein-Barr loves to link and get integrated like this web or these roots into it. So until you deal with the trauma construct that might not even be related to Epstein-Barr at all, it's woven in and they have to be taken care of together at the same time. So I thought, I hope that you found this informative and beneficial. There's a lot of different bioweapons out there. What is a bioweapon? It's something that is man or extraterrestrial made. And the purpose usually is to keep us in lower frequencies, to keep us sick, keep us dependent on the healthcare system, keep us on drugs that are bringing down our vibration, clogging up our ability to expand our consciousness and break out of this system. And there's so many different ones, but Epstein-Barr is probably the nastiest one. One of the top ones that I deal with, and I don't like it at all. It, it really wrecked havoc in my life for a lot of years. And if you go to other modalities of healing, most of them will say, yeah, there's nothing we can do. You'll just have to live with it and hope that it goes dormant. To me, that's not acceptable. I feel like there's a solution for everything and we don't have to live in hopelessness in a place of despair.